Hello everyone, I'm Hillary with Dominion Tea and today we're going to talk about Japanese green teas and kiyosu. So the kiyosu is the Japanese teapot. I've got with me two of them. The first one is the side handle teapot. This is what most people are familiar with. They are always decorated out here so that the decoration face the guests while the hostess pours. The other one is a more modern version of the kiyosu without a handle. Inside of the kiyosus, especially the modern ones, you're gonna find a very fine metal mesh strainer. That is because Japanese green teas are steamed, not baked like the Chinese. And so that produces a lot of particulate that you actually wanna get through and into your cup uh, because it helps with mouthfeel and how the tea tastes. So today we're gonna to talk about how do you use one of these if you have it um, and which teas to put into it. So, our side handle kyusu is traditionally made for sencha. Um, however, you can also uh, easily brew in it your larger leaf uh, Japanese greens, so your gyokoro, and your bancha, which is what we're going to do today. Now, much like we talked about in our video on uh, brewing tea, you need to know how much water your kyusu holds. So this actually is an eight ounce kyusu. So what we did is we put in eight grams of tea. So think about one gram to one ounce in a kyusu. And the reason you're gonna do that is you're only going to be steeping for 25 to 30 seconds per brew. You're not going to be doing this in the traditional fashion of three minutes. Um, in our smaller kyusu, which is a five ounce kyusu, we've put in five grams of tea. Uh, these uh, types of kyusus uh, are built a little bit more uh, for your first flush sencha, otherwise known as shincha, uh, which is a finer tea uh, that's going to come out a little bit more like matcha, which we'll talk in detail about later. So if you have to be a Japanese green tea drinker, these are um, your kiyosus are a worthy investment of your time. Now, if you've already got your hands on Japanese green tea and you're wondering, how do I do this at home with what I've got? Very simple, take a look at your infuser because what you're looking for is slightly larger holes that are gonna allow through some of the particulate, but not all the leaf. So if you've got something like that, take a shot. You're probably doing okay with that. If you don't and you have a traditional teapot, um, go looking for an outside strainer that you can pour the teapot through uh, and brew your leaves loose in the teapot. And what that will do is help to get through the smaller particulate to, to assist with mouthfeel. So a couple of things about Japanese green teas, you're gonna brew these at lower temperatures, uh, anywhere between 160 degrees Fahrenheit to 185. So what you might wanna do is make sure you've got your water out, especially if you have to take it to a boil because you don't have a kettle that gets you to an exact temperature, and give it a few minutes to rest before you go to brew. The other thing we keep around uh, is the fair pitcher. Uh, the reason being is your cups aren't going to hold everything that's in that pot. So you get through that 25 to 30 seconds of steeping and you're gonna to wanna to pour this out, um, both into your cup uh, and into the fair pitcher. Now, you can always cheat because you're not gonna to find too many kiyosus uh, that are gonna serve multiple large cups. So you could pour straight from your kiyosu into a standard 12 ounce mug. So with that said, let's go explore some teas that you can brew in your kiyosus. We have seven of the most common Japanese green teas. Starting with Shincha, which is the first flush of Sencha, um, we have a kind of a darker green because it has a lot more particulate from smaller leaf because this being the first flush is the first tea harvested in the season. Uh, the first flushes in Japan typically come from about mid-April to mid-May. Uh, they're made usually from the bud uh, and first leaf, sometimes the second. Your sencha uh, will be harvested uh, starting in April also, uh, throughout the entire summer through to the end of the season, which is usually September, October. Typically, this is going to be your first and second leaf uh, on the stem, followed by bancha, which is going to be uh, your third and fourth leaf on the stem. So why are we talking about the leaf numbers? Uh, the Japanese, because they have a labor shortage when it comes to plucking tea leaves, use mechanized tea harvests. So uh, when the tea plant 
grows, it will bolt uh, a stem and multiple leaves, sometimes only three, maybe up to four. Uh, and the Japanese with the mechanized harvest are going to harvest all of them at one time. Um, and then we'll use every part of it in production. And we'll get to that tea stem in a moment. Next, we have Gyokuro and Konacha. And what is fascinating about these is Gyokuro is nothing but sucha, only it's been grown under shade for a full month uh, before harvest. And that shade growth causes it to be darker in color, but lighter in flavor than your sencha. Konacha actually comes from Gyokuro. It is the stem uh, from the tea plant, uh, as well as any remaining smaller leaf during the production of the gyokoro. It is chopped up at the end of the day to get you kind of a smaller consistency, uh, but it's also going to brew a darker color because of the presence of the tea stem. Now this is kukicha. So we talk about the Japanese using all parts of the tea plant that they harvest. This is the tea stem. So after the mechanized harvest, they will pull apart the leaf. So you can either go into production uh, for matcha, uh, sencha, bancha, and then the stem becomes kukicha. And then last but not least is hojicha. So hojicha is fun because it is a green tea. It is actually going to be either sencha or bancha that has been flash roasted. And that roasting process takes uh, the tea from being um, a grassy uh, flavor uh, to a roasted nut flavor. And so these are the teas you would traditionally put uh, into a Japanese kyu suit to enjoy. Hope you enjoyed learning about Japanese teas. Uh, please like the video uh, and subscribe to our channel uh, to learn more.